Hi guys, <coughs> Garrett here at GM Jewelry. Uh, I wanted to uh, take a second and talk to you guys about um, jewelry care at home. Uh, I have people come in all the time um, with jewelry, especially rings that are in a really awful state of repair. Um, and it kind of astounds me, honestly. Uh, you know, they're like, oh, I never take it off, and, you know, I dig in the dirt with it and make pie with it and whatever, you know. Uh, and I wear it up against other rings, and um, they tell me that, and then they tell me how important that piece of jewelry is to them, that it was their mother's or it's their engagement ring or whatever. Uh, and it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me uh, because they've said, oh, this is extremely important to me, but I don't take any care of it at all. Uh, so I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a few things that you can do, uh, that you can buy, um, and a few little techniques that you can do to take care of your jewelry at home. Uh, some of the stuff you probably already have, um, and the other stuff is not expensive. Uh, if you have something, you know, if you have an engagement ring, um, or another piece of jewelry that's really important to you, especially rings, uh, uh, necklaces and earrings don't take the same amount of wear as uh, rings do. Uh, so this mostly will, will pertain to rings uh, with stones in them. If it's just a plain band, there's not much maintenance you can do or that you need. Um, so this video is geared more toward uh, rings with stones, okay? Um, so the first thing, uh, people, people ask me sometimes, what can I do at home to take care of my jewelry? So the first thing that I always tell them is get an old toothbrush and some Dawn soap. Uh, and you can put uh, some of that, some of that, um, the soap on the toothbrush. And you can, you can take your ring and you can scrub the outside a little bit. You can get on the inside underneath uh, and scrub under there. Uh, and that'll do a lot, uh, that'll go a long way if you do that once a week or if you're getting done washing dishes or something like that uh, and you just clean your ring real, real quick. Uh, that'll go a long way to keep it clean um, between professional cleanings. Uh, now let me back up for a second. Uh, and uh, I'm a big proponent of the individual who owns jewelry also owning a loop. Okay, um, these are really cheap on Amazon. Uh, or eBay um, and this one has two powers on it it's like a 30 power and a 60 power it's got two little lights comes with a little case it was like six bucks I think um, they're super cheap a normal 10 power loop is about all that you really need um, for this but uh, one thing if you if you have something that that's important to you or that is expensive then then I feel like you need to learn how, uh, what to look for, and how to take care of it. Um, so something you need to do, uh, if you are an owner of jewelry that's important to you, uh, this will save you a lot of money in the long run because you will be able to catch things yourself, prongs that are worn, uh, that are bent or broken, uh, stones that are loose, uh, so that way you can have that fixed and not have to replace those stones. Um, uh, so it will save you a lot of money. So one thing that you need to do before before doing the Dawn, and soap, uh, the Dawn soap and toothbrush thing is learn to inspect your jewelry. So get a loop, practice with it, hold it close to your eye and bring the jewelry into focus. You can look at a lot of different things. It's a lot of fun to play with. Um, but you need to be able to look. Uh, one thing that I do sometimes when I'm inspecting jewelry, I'll try to show you here. I put the ring on my ring finger, I hold the loop with these two, you can put it on your middle finger too if you want, I just feel like I have more control with the ring finger. And then I put it up to my eye and I bring it into focus. And then I use, you can use a toothpick, um, you can use a really sharp pencil, you can use anything. And what you want to do is under the magnification, get in there and, and touch all your stones with this, with the little toothpick or whatever, you know, figure out how it's best for you to hold it. Uh, and look at that and um, touch all your stones, see if they wiggle. Uh, if, if they wiggle a little bit, uh, then you need to have those tightened before they, before they come out. 
Um, you can also look at your prongs to see how far over the, t the, the girdle of your diamond, which is the skinny edge that it has all the way around. Uh, your prongs need to have a good amount uh, of material over that. If the angle of the, the, the wear of the angle of the prong starts to match the angle of the diamond, uh, you need to have tips done. Uh, well, that's where I add more material to that so that way you, you can continue to wear that because they, those are prone to breaking. Um, and if they break, then you, it's possible that you'll lose your stone. Uh, so uh, so before, before you do any cleaning, you need to inspect your jewelry because if you don't and you have a loose stone, your brush can knock that out and you can lose it. Um, and that, that would be kind of defeat the purpose of trying to do this to take care of it yourself. Uh, another thing you can do for silver jewelry is get yourself a silver polishing cloth. Um, this isn't just a normal cloth um, and it's meant only for silver. Don't use it on anything else. Um, you can use it on silver plated stuff but don't use it on golden stuff. But um, it's, got, uh, it's made with, with a special polishing chemical on it uh, that takes the tarnish off of your jewelry. Uh, so anything silver that you have, uh, even flatware, uh, you, can, you can take this and you just rub it on there. That's all you do. Um, is rub it on there and it'll bring a lot of the shine back uh, to your jewelry that it's lost. Um, if you have something that's extremely tarnished uh, or you want to be really thorough, something you can get, uh, this is uh, Haggerty brand um, flatware dip is what they call it, the silver dip. Uh, it works well with anything silver, uh, anything sterling silver or plated or whatever. If it's got a lot of uh, uh, tarnish on it, then, then, then this takes that right off. Uh, it says not to leave it in there any longer than 10 seconds. Um, so it, it's extremely quick. Um, so you dip it in there, you rinse it off, and you use your silver polishing cloth. Um, but again, uh, I would say before you do any of this, get a loop online. Um, and, and learn to inspect your jewelry. If you have any questions uh, or want to know more, uh, feel free to call me or to text me or message me, come in the shop, uh, whatever, and I, and I will teach you uh, what to look for, how to look for it, uh, that kind of thing, because I want you, uh, as the wearer of the jewelry, to, to have to come see me less for repairs if you can catch it. Uh, catch things yourself, you know, and have to spend less. Um, because I understand how important jewelry is to people. I understand how important your engagement ring is and, and the things that you got from your mom or, or your grandma or whatever. You know, uh, I get it. I understand the importance of those things and I, I want to help you take care of, of those things. So um, I will include a picture of my information. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call, email, message, come in, whatever. Uh, and I will do the best that I can, uh, as always, to help you be, um, to help you take care of your jewelry. Thanks for watching.